Hey everyone, welcome back to another coding tutorial video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to implement template matching using Node.js and OpenCV. So if you don't know what template matching is, basically it's a algorithm you can use in computer vision to kind of find subset images inside of a larger image. So in this case, we have a Pac-Man board. And let's say we want to find out where Pac-Man is. So like here, we have my template matching algorithm running. We found that the Pac-Man yellow half moon thing is right here. And then of course, you could also try to find out where the different ghosts are, where the pellets are, the small pellets and the large pellets. So it's a pretty useful algorithm. There are some downfalls to the algorithm. Obviously, if the image is scaled at all, then your template's going to fail. If your image is rotated at all, then you're not going to be able to find your template unless you have rotated templates and scale templates that you can try different combinations. But so that's kind of an overview of what we're building, what template matching is. And again, we're using OpenCV. So let me show you a library that is available in NPM. So the library we will be using in this video is called OpenCV for Node.js. And if you follow the instructions, it takes a little while to set up. You have to have OpenCV installed. I have OpenCV, I think, 4 installed, and I use that by just doing brew. So if you're on a Mac, you can follow these steps to install OpenCV, and then you need to install this node module package without auto building. So there's like a flag you have to set. Um, it's called like disable. Here it is. So if you want to use this package and you already have OpenCV on your machine, make sure you run this export command. Otherwise, it's going to try to grab all the OpenCV packages, build them from scratch, and it, it takes forever to run, especially on a weaker power laptop. You're looking at like 30 minutes to an hour to build OpenCV. So I highly recommend having it installed already on your machine, exporting this, and then you can do npm install this package. All right, so luckily this package has a bunch of examples of how you can use the different built-in algorithms in OpenCV. So if you click on that examples folder and go into match features, I'm sorry, go into um, template matching, they have some JavaScript code that's kind of lined out with how you can grab a Waldo image and how you can do template matching to find where Waldo is. So that's pretty useful that they have this stuff all ready to go. And we will be going back to this code if we uh, get lost when we're trying to implement this logic. So with that all being said, we understand what we're building. We understand the library that we're using to kind of implement what we need. Let's start trying to code it out. So I went ahead and lined out some steps that we can kind of follow so that we don't get lost along the way. I'll read them out really quick. So first of all, we need to load in the OpenCV for Node.js package. And that allows us to use these different algorithms inside of our node code. Second step is we need to load in these template images and board images. So we have a file called board.png, and that is that um, Pac-Man board. And then we have some various other PNGs like Orange Ghost or Large Pellet that are, we are, can use for our templates to kind of look through that main image to find out where stuff is. So that was step two. Step three is run the template matching, and we'll find out that that returns us a, a matrix that has high values where we found the template and then low values where the template is not located at. Step four is we find those max values and we keep on doing this over and over again until we've kind of exhausted where all these templates could be. So every time we find a template, we do step five where we basically find that region over the main image and just clear it out so that we don't refine that same template. And then we can draw rectangles over that template location. And then finally, we're going to show you that image. So first step, load in OpenCV from Node.js. So this should be straightforward if you know how to do um, requires. So I'm going to say const CV is equal to require OpenCV for Node.js. That will bring in that library, and then we can start using it. The second step, and I'm actually going to wrap all this in a self-executing function, because a lot of this stuff is async, so we want to be able to use await. If I simply just call a function, declare a function, and then call it and put async in front of here, that gives me the ability to use the await command. 
So step two was load template in board image. So what we can say is const board image is equal to cv dot image um, read async. Sorry, m read async. And if we go back to that example code here, they're doing image im read async. Im stands for image. And then we can specify a path. So in this case, I'll just say board.png. And then we're going to do the same thing for the template. So I'll say template image. And I'm going to read in, let's just do the large, let's do this, uh, yeah, large pellet for this example. All right, so step two is done. We loaded in those images, and now we can kind of use them in our template matching. So if we go back to the example code here, there is a command you can call on the original matrix called match template and you're going to provide it a template a matrix and then also this is a particular flag to know what type of template um, difference you can use so i think five is some what is five five is something called this i don't i'm not too sure what these are but they're just different mathematical functions you run to do the difference between the main image and the template and that'll return you either positive numbers. In this case, I think it gives us a negative one to a positive one. I could be wrong, but let's just go ahead and run this code, or copy this code over. And I will just keep this name matched. Instead of five here, I'm going to pass the actual constant to make it a little bit cleaner code. And then we want to pass board image, match template, template image. Okay, so at this point, what we could do is kind of visualize what that image looks like. So I can say m show, I can say matched string and pass it the image. So let's go ahead and keep going. Um, so now that we're here, basically there's a method called min-max, which will give you those min and max values on your matrix. So we need to call that, and we can get the template and draw it. So, so what I can do is call um, matched.min-max location, and that will give us an object that has the location of that min-max value. And if we wanted to draw a template on that location, there is a rectangle function built into this library. If I go back to the code here, you can see that you can do original matrix draw rectangle. So let's just go ahead and copy this code. And instead of original matrix, that is going to be the board image. We're going to draw the rectangle over the board at the XY locations that we found. So we haven't really got that yet. So I'm going to say X is equal to min max max loc dot X. I think that should be right. Instead of Waldo mat, I need to do template image. All right, so at this point, I probably have bugs. So let's just run it and make sure we can make some progress. Okay, so notice here it drew a green rectangle around that large pellet up here. And we can change the template to something else, right? I could say orange ghost and rerun this. And notice that it found where the orange ghost is. And I could also do, um, well, I say small pellet. That'll only find a single pellet, right? And it happens to be this one. So the idea is we need to keep running this over and over again until we've exhausted all of the templates that are on the uh, on the image right so we need to bring in a loop let's see draw a rectangle where the match was found and this was done here comment that out for now all right so what we need to do is keep looping while we have other templates that are close to that max value that we found so just to make sure we are using the right variables here. I'm going to print this out to try to figure out what we can use. All right, so we have min max, min value, max value. 
So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do a loop. So I'm going to say while true. This is probably not good practice. While true is not a good practice, but this is just pseudocode. So don't judge me too hard, guys. Um, so yeah, what we need to do is keep track of that max value if we haven't found one yet. So I'm going to say let max value is equal to null. And then I'll say if is equal to null, we set max value to min max dot max value. So basically what we're doing here is we're keeping track of that first value that was like the highest value we could find for that template. And we're going to be using that to keep trying to find templates that are close to that value because they're not all going to be identical to max value. They might be a little bit lower. So we'll do a little bit of a thresholding to be able to find all of the templates that cl are close enough. Um, so yeah, we got the max value. Now we need the actual value. So I'm going to say value is min max of max val. So when this loop runs for the first time, these are going to be equal to each other. So nothing too interesting there. But the second and third and fourth time that this runs, the value may be a little bit lower than what max value was. So what we need to do is say, if value is less than max value times some threshold, so I'm going to just do times 0.9, then we want to go ahead and break out of this loop, right? That means we've found all the templates that match as close as possible to our template inside the image. And then we just kind of stop here. Um, so this should hopefully work if I don't have any errors. I need to implement step five though. So step five, if I don't go back to the original matrix and clear out that template we just found, it's just going to keep looping forever and ever because that template just keeps getting matched. <clears throat> so I'm actually just going to paste some code in here and I will explain it. So template mat is actually going to be called template image. All right. So this is a double for loop where we basically have the original image, we have the template, and we just loop over every pixel of the original image over that template location and set everything to zero. So I can draw this out to the screen because just saying that out loud probably didn't really make sense. So let me print out matched here. I think this is good. Hopefully we don't have any bugs. We do. Max value is not defined. Um, and that is because max value is actually max of val. That was our issue. So what did this do? This was supposed to find the small, okay, it did. This is a bad example. Um, but if you see here, that small pellet is actually black now because we found the template. We cleared it out so that we can keep running this over and over again. So if I click next, notice that they keep going away. So at some point we should get through all of these small pellets and then we should be having, we, we should be able to draw these green rectangles over everything. Um, but I think that's not going to work yet because I commented out the code to draw the image here. So finally we need to show the image, right? There is that original image, a board image that we're drawing these green rectangles over. So what I need to do is just draw that out at the end. And if I press enter, hopefully this works. Keep my fingers crossed. Cool. It does work. And obviously because I'm copying code from other places, it should work. But notice here we have green rectangles over all the small pellets. So we successfully managed to implement template matching. And I'll just go ahead and change this to like large pellet to further demonstrate. So let's see, large pellet. I'll rerun this. And notice that we have green rectangles over the four large pellets. So you could probably think what this could be useful for if you ever want to make an AI that's like trying to find pieces on a game and then like determine what logic to do. You could do that using template matching. Again, it's not the most efficient algorithm because it has to search over your entire image 
using like a sliding window approach, which isn't the best. I'm sure OpenCV does some things behind the scenes that kind of make it make it efficient, but it's just another interesting algorithm that you should keep in your res reservoir of cool OpenCV computer vision algorithms. Cool, so thank you so much for watching. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about the way I'm teaching or about the content, be sure to leave a comment below. If you have ideas of other things I could do related to computer vision, feel free to comment below. And again, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video and you thought I was good at explaining um, this code in such a way. Later.